Hey girl friend today i'm going to share with you my complete curly hair routine post gel including some game changing tips that will help you achieve bouncy defined curls without the frizz First up the gel application here's a crucial tip when you apply your gel make sure you're scrunching your hair and listening for that squishy sound if you don't hear it that means your hair isn't wet enough or you've added too much product or you'll want to add more water this ensures that the product distributes evenly leading to more defined curls and now we start the drying process notice how i carefully tuck all my hair into the corner of the towel this helps to preserve the curl pattern and prevent frizz If you've styled your hair while it's soaking wet like I did, you can speed up the drying process with a turban towel like this. Unlike traditional towels, a turban towel gently absorbs excess water without disrupting your curl. If you don't have time to keep the towel on your head, you can do this. You can gently scrunch out the excess water in this scrunching motion, except you're using the microfiber towel as a barrier between your fingers and your hair. This can also absorb excess water without the constraint of you wearing the towel on your head. Once you've removed the towel, it's time for a quick touch up. I like to reapply a little bit of gel at this stage to enhance the gel cast as my hair dries. This step also helps to counteract any product that may have been absorbed by the towel, ensuring frizz-free defined curls. You may not hear the squishy sound at this point because obviously the towel has removed the excess water so it's important to be gentle so don't pulse and scrunch just squeeze and scrunch if you're like me and you have thick coarse hair then you want to wet plop this is plopping into a plastic shower cap now i know this may sound a way too many steps but one easy thumb of rule is to keep it on right after you've applied your gel Just give it a few minutes to saturate in your hair, and then once you remove it, you can start your drying process with the towel, like I showed you. Depending on the length and density of your hair, the time you keep the hair towel on your head can vary from people to people. For me, I keep it for five minutes. This is how my hair looks when it's about fifty percent dry. Here's when I like to start diffusing my hair. But before I diffuse my hair, I like to spray a curl defense spray to protect my curls and lock in moisture. I use a diffuser on low heat, so it's important for me to protect my curls that way. Then I use a diffuser to finish the drying process. The combination of the spray and the diffusing technique gives me bouncy springy curls that I love. If you look at my hair and you follow the same exact process but you don't diffuse your hair then you may not get the same results like me so diffusing this way is a crucial step and here's the final result defined bouncy curls with no frizz in sight I hope these tips help you perfect your curly hair routine if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more curly hair tips all these steps are not rules treat them as guidelines so you can add what you can do into your routine and see how it helps you you can add each step one by one and see the difference for yourself let me know if you try But wait, are you looking for personalized curly hair advice? I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions to help you tailor your routine, choose the right products and achieve your hair goals. Click in the link in the description to book your session with me today. I also offer online curly hair cuts if that's what you want. Either way, I'll see you next Sunday.